Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm TJ, the creative behind TJ's Magic Touch. And in this video, I will show you how to design fragile stickers for your home-based business. I will be using Microsoft Publisher to do the design. I will be printing with a Naflaka thermal printer and I will be using yellow Munbin labels. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. And if you are returning, thank you so much for the continued support. I really do appreciate it. Now let's get started. After opening Microsoft Publisher and clicking on new, you're going to click on create new page size. This is how we set up our document to the size of our label. For width, we are going to do 2.25 and for height, we're going to do 1.25. Again, this is the size of the label. So no matter what software you're using, your measurements will remain the same. After getting your measurements set up, you're going to click OK. After clicking OK in the custom section, you will see the new size that you created as well as to the right, you will see the new page size and that is where you will click create. After you click create, your rectangle will show up on your screen and this is where we will place our design. To start this design off, I'm going to click on insert at the top left hand corner and I am going to select word art in just the first A that you see right there in the word art box and I'm going to type in the word fragile. After typing in fragile, I'm going to choose the font that I want to use for this design, click OK and place it on the screen. Since we are using a thermal printer, the way Fragile has shown up on the screen does not work for us. So what I'm going to do is adjust all of the elements of the word art starting with the shape fill by changing it to black. I will then remove the shape outline, so no outline, and for shape effects, click no shadow. This will remove the shadow at the bottom of Fragile. This leaves me with just plain black text that'll come out dark enough on a thermal printer. The next thing that I'm going to do for this design is click on inserts and online pictures. This brings up Bing and I'm going to type in B clip art. I am looking for a black and white design in order to use in this image. So I'm going to make sure that Creative Commons only is selected so that I'm not accidentally using an image that I'm not allowed to. Then I'm going to search for my B. I've chosen this black and white B right here. And once I brought the image into the design, it came with a white background. So I'm gonna click on Recolor, Set Transparent Color, and then click on the white. This removes all of the white and it only leaves me with the black elements of the B, which is what I want. Then I'm going to go to corrections and select on the darkest color that I can get for this design. Remember the darker your image, the better when you're using a thermal label printer. Since you're not using ink, you're only using heat. You want your design to be as close to a true black as possible. Now after setting my transparency to white, I noticed that I was left with this light black outline around the B. So I'm going to make sure that my B is selected and I'm going to click on crop in my picture format tab. Then I'm simply going to crop the image so that the lines are no longer around the B. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to draw a little flutter line for the bee. So I'm going to click on inserts and shapes and I'm going to choose this swiggly line so that I can draw the line that I want or the direction that I want the bees flutter to go in. After selecting OK, this is what we're left with, but it's not what I want. So I'm going to right click and format auto shape. I'm going to reduce the width of my lines by bringing it down one point. I'm going to change the pattern to dash and I want my dashes to be round. After I do that, I'm going to click on OK and this gives me a very different look than what we previously had. Now I'm going to repeat the same steps as before to insert more word art. With my word art selected, I'm going to click on alignment at the top and click on left align. Then I'm going to repeat the same steps to get my word art image completely black. Now that I have my design where I want it, I'm going to go to File and Save As. You want to make sure that you save this file as a PNG. You have to save it as an image when using Publisher. If you try to save it under another format, your image will be distorted. After saving your image, you want to open the picture up on your screen. For me, this is how images look. I select the three dots at the top and click on print. You want to make sure that your label printer is selected as well as the correct size labels. After you choose your right size label, you'll select how many copies you want and then you'll click on print. Alright, that is all for this video. Here are a couple of other style designs that you can make with your thermal label printer. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it informative. Please do not forget to like, comment, share because sharing is caring and subscribe if you have not already done so. Don't forget to get out there and create something magical and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.